Hello, I recently went to the sea, and while studying the marine environment, something painfully stung me in the leg. I looked around and noticed a jelly-like creature in the water column. I tried to catch it, and it turned out to be a small jellyfish, which the sea would most likely wash ashore. I was wondering if it is possible to grow marine life at home. I put it in a container of sea water and went home. The next morning I was already at the station, along with the jellyfish. We put it in a jar in advance and got on the train we needed. The road was long, and the jellyfish rode with us on the train for about 8 hours. We were very worried about her and constantly let her into the jar fresh air for her to breathe. After 8 hours of travel we arrived, and let's see how our jellyfish is doing. And she is in perfect order, swims, moves and feels quite well. But now we need to think about how we will grow a jellyfish. It is not an option for a jellyfish to live in this jar, as it is very small. And therefore we took an aquarium. This is the third one in my collection. Of course we will not leave it empty. And even in the sea we collected a whole bag of sand from the beach. And we are filling the bottom of the aquarium with it. Let's level a bottom a bit and start decorating the aquarium. On the beach where we took the sand, we decided to grab some beautiful shells. We lay them out on the sand and get a real beach. But that's not all. In my opinion, sea stones are also ideal. So we also put them in the aquarium. What is an aquarium without water? We took water directly from the sea. But if you pour it like that, then all the water will shake up. So it is better to take a garbage bag. One needs to be turned off and cover it with the bottom of the aquarium. Now you can fill in water. The bag will not let the water get dirty. We have already shown you this slave hack, but here it's also very relevant. And it's time for us to move the jellyfish to the aquarium. I gently submerged the jar in the water, and the jellyfish swam off to explore its new habitat. In my opinion, it turned out very cool, and the jellyfish seems to like everything. But in my opinion, she wants to eat, and I immediately began to find out what jellyfish eat. I rummaged through a lot of information, and found out that jellyfish eat plankton, and where to get it. It turns out that he is already in the aquarium, got there along with sea water. We cannot see plankton with the naked eye, since it is very small. But now the jellyfish will have something to eat. We have compressors installed in the old aquarium to purify and saturate the water with oxygen. But there are no compressors in the sea. The water is saturated with oxygen thanks to algae. We took some of them to the sea. Let's see if they grow and whether the water will be saturated with oxygen. Don't forget about its temperature. Everyone knows that the water in the sea is warm. So so we took a fluor lamp and incandescent lamp, screw in the light bulb and turn on the light. Such a lamp, unlike the LED one, gives them a lot of heat and it will heat the water. Let's hope that the jellyfish will take root and we will be able to grow it. Bye bye!